after halftime, getting ready to start the second half of Kent State versus Michigan State. Currently tied 1-1. Ryan, did you get to hear any of what uh, was being said there in the huddle at halftime with Kent State? They're coming out very focused and strong. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was a point-blank headshot on number 19. That one hurts. Number 19 for Kent State. None, not, not too happy about that no, one. That was very, very close range. Typically, you see a little bit of mercy extended. You do. I understand that it's in the heat of the moment. I've seen it go the other way, where you try to give a little mercy and the person ends up catching you. So That's very true, too. It's a judgment call on the player's behalf. Big loss there, number 77. Cam going down for Michigan State on a shot to the foot. That's DePero getting out on another shot to the foot, number seven for Kent State. Number zero goes out as well for Kent State. So a couple. A lot of heavy hitters. That yeah, Kent that's. Out. I was gonna say a couple of crucial losses for them in a short succession. Fourteen Cassidy is a very animated player. I've learned from watching what little bit of Kent I've seen. He is, and he's very, he's very into the team. This is his senior year. He's giving it his all this weekend. He's having a blast so far. You know, it's really cool to uh, see everyone, uh, alumni included, changing their picture to uh, dodgeball-related photo on Facebook to show support. It was, it was, it was funny actually. It happened. <laughs> I started started noticing it. I was like, well, I guess I might as well do it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have any good dodgeball <laughs> photos, so uh, I did not change mine. That's the thing. I'm so jealous of these kids now. All these games are being recorded, and I have like a handful of my games that have yeah. ever been recorded. And not just recorded, but streamed live. Yeah. So everyone back home can watch these games. These kids nowadays with their live streams and their recorded games, I tell you what. Well, we have lost Bomas for the time being. He has uh, gone down to wet the whistle. Uh, refereeing is, takes a toll on your voice, so he is recharging right now. We hope that he will be rejoining us soon. But in the meantime, Ryan, I think we'll hold it down quite nice. I think we can handle it. Another big catch by Michigan State. Who did that take out for Kent? Uh, number 11, Evan Les. Now, Ryan, I think me and you are calling a game letter today in the seventh round. We are, the Kent State versus Maryland game. Oh, very nice. I'm looking forward to that. Been very impressed with what I've seen out of Kent so far. Maryland was holding their own against Ohio State in the game I saw. I think they eventually lost 3-1. They did. But the first half was very... They had ball control for the whole first half. That is one team I have never seen play. I've never seen Maryland play, so... we are looking forward to watching them for the first time. Nice kill there by 17. Kent State, I believe. The young freshman. The young, the young gun. Michigan State is on the back line. I know, they're playing uh, very conservatively. Very conservatively, yeah. Nice block there by 77 for Kent State, saving his teammate.
Number 12, Sinclair for Kent State, imploring his team, I believe, to attack and be a little more aggressive. They need to get some movement out of Michigan State so they can try and get some catches. Yeah. There's one Great catch. catch there by 22 of Kent State. Takes out Massimino. Cassie, I don't know if you can hear him on the broadcast. Fired up, number 14 for Kent State. As Ryan said, giving it his all. And much like rescuing a kitten from a tree, Ryan just had to go retrieve a ball that had bounced up on the track. It felt so good to touch the rubber. Yes, it did. We'll get to do that a little bit tomorrow during the alumni I'm game. I'm very excited. That will be fun to see how long it takes before one of us tears a muscle horrifically. Nice. A great group catch. Brings back into Paro for Kent State. That's a big swing right there. Oh. I think there's some confusion who is in first on the line. Was it, were the two players go in thinking that they were both up? I think so. Okay, I didn't know maybe if there was some confusion, if it was a trap, but he dropped that ball he was holding to catch that, didn't he? Yeah. Nineteen minutes left in this second half. Nine Michigan State players left in. Nine Kent State players. All right, so we got a nine-nine player tie right now with a one-one tie. This game is close as it can possibly be here as we come down. Close to 18 minutes left in this half. And 24 taken out by a shot from DePero, and DePero goes down quickly afterward. Who caught that ball from Michigan State? Was that 16? No, it was not 16. I think it was 96. Okay. Nice little swing there in Michigan State's favor. Kent really needs some catches right here to get the momentum going back in their favor. They started picking it up there for a second and Michigan State did a nice job of neutralizing. Yes, they did. Michigan State has the man advantage, I believe. Ten for Michigan State, I count. Seven. Seven. Okay, so a 10-7 man advantage right now Michigan State has over Kent State. Number 27 going down there. Was that a kill by Sinclair, number 12? Yes, he is our team DJ. Team DJ, huh? He spins some mad tunes. Mad tunes, gotta love a team DJ. Would you describe the uh, party at Motel 6 last night as epic? <laughs> it was pretty great. <laughs> And that's all we'll say about that. In case there are any uh, WKU Sports Club administrators watching this stream. I have a feeling I'll see Officer Jones again tonight. <laughs> Did you all make a new friend? <laughs> a friend from the local police department. Kind of quiet.
quieting down here as we approach 15 minutes left in the second half. Cassidy goes for a catch. I believe that got him out, didn't it? Yeah. We'll see if he can continue to fire up his teammates from the sideline. there on an easy, easy throw by number 22, Kent State. Poor decision. Poor decision, yeah. This point unfolding a lot like that first point from the first half. Number 19 for Kent State going down there. That leaves three Kent State players left, 12, 15, and 17. He was Kent's best catcher. Number 12, Team DJ Sinclair going down. The young gun left in along with number 15. And he goes down there on a great catch. We'll see. And he has stepped out. Giving himself up, so that'll be a 2-1 advantage for Michigan State with 14.01 left in the second half. We'll be back with the next point here shortly. 